2016, for every exhibition center that you go, you go and find a biometric verification device. You check your name in the register, and then you put your fingerprint in the biometric verification device to, to, to be sure that on the election day, you will be verified biometrically to vote. So if you do that and it is unable to uh, execute the, the, the biometric device, then they will write your name and then put your name on the face only register. So that on the election day, because you might have suffered some tr drama or something, you have already been identified as somebody who cannot be biometric ver verified on election day. So by the time you get to the police station, your name is on the face only uh, register and then you will be permitted to vote without going through verification. This exercise is disregarding this time-tested system that was used uh, in the previous uh, system. And so anybody who has his name in the register, whether you can be biometric verified, because you may have registered in 2012 or 2016, you might have involved yourself in an accident, you might have suffered some trauma. So between 2012, 2016, 2019, your biometric uh, features. features might have been affected. And so you may go there and you cannot be verified. That is why for this exercise, all the BVDs should have been there to be used to assure people and give them double assurance that on election day, they can be verified. Even in the 15 million plus people who have their names in the National Voter Database, only 270 thousand are classified as face only. But in the just ended registration, we registered people who have attained 18. So let's assume that between 18 to 21 years, we are having over 1,000% of the people who registered classified as face only. What it means is that on election day, those people can walk to any of the registration centers or voting centers and vote without being biometrically verified. That is a recipe for chaos, confusion, fraud, rigging, and what have you. TR91, Public Regulation, uh, Registration Regulation 1 and 2, enjoins the EC to match fingerprint in the database of the Commission by Automatic Fingerprint Identification System, the EFIS. However, in several police stations nationwide, there were no BVDs, a clear violation of the law. So we are not attacking the EC. We are just subjecting them to the very laws they themselves have passed to regulate the activities uh, that the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana has imposed on them to perform. That is one of the challenges that has led to some uh, uh, multipl multiplicity of names and others. We believe that if the EC had given us the copy of the register on time, perhaps with our own technical ability, and from my narration, you realize that the NDC is well prepared for the 2020 election because we are leaving no stone on time to ensure that nobody takes advantage of us and the process becomes transparent, open, and fair. Because we believe that in an open, transparent, and fair election, NDC is ready to win the 2020 election.